So Google Calendar has done a little bit of remodeling or redecorating really because there's not a lot of changes. If you have not seen the update in your Google Calendar yet, just know that it's on the way. It might take a while before it hits everybody's accounts. Anyways, I thought I would give you kind of a drive-by to let you know what's new and different. So right now I'm looking at the week view. Up here you can choose how you want to view your calendar, if it's by month or by the day. They also have it listed as a schedule so it will look more like an appointment book or you can change it to seven days and it will put your current day at the beginning with all of those following seven days. I'm going to put mine back to week. Another feature that I like is let's say I had to peek ahead to look at something in February or March and then I'm ready to go back to this week. All I need to do is click on today and it will zoom me right back. Clicking the Mashpee Falcon emblem or clicking the word calendar will refresh your calendar to show anything that's changed that you haven't seen happen yet. And then this whole panel on the left hand side should look very similar as it did before. You have your calendars listed down the side and they're like transparencies that overlay on top of a white calendar. So right now I only have mine and Colleen's showing. If I uncheck that box, they disappear. If I want to layer more than one calendar on here, I can check more than one box. So it's just a matter of choosing what it is that you want to be viewing. Remember these little icons here, they're like little tents. When the tent is up, you can look inside of it and you can see what's stored inside. If you want to collapse it down, it takes up less space, but you can't see what's going on inside of it. So tent up, you can see inside. And then this hamburger menu up here in the top left corner, if you click that, it hides the entire side panel. And then you can just pop it back if you want to see it. So that's again just a choice on your part. When you're ready to add an event to the calendar, it's still very similar. You can either click the plus sign to add a calendar and it will bring you to the add calendar page and you can put in your details. Or you can find an empty space and go ahead and click on it. And then you get this dialog box where you can add the title, um, new event. And then you can double check the times that they're correct and that it's going on to the correct calendar. If you want to add more options like a description or an attachment, you can click on more options and then you can hit save. Once the event is created and you click on it, you have a couple of choices again. So this looks a little different in this new version. You can click on the trash barrel to delete the event. You can click on the little snowman for options here like copying it to another calendar or duplicating it or printing it and then also you can publish it or you can change the owner. Down here on this pencil you can click on that and it will open up the event details and then you can adjust them as you need to. So Colleen and I are always available to help you. You can make an appointment on the calendar and we'll stop by to give you a hand with whatever it is that you'd like to learn more about. Thank you!